I'm here this afternoon with uh, His Excellency okay. Dr. Min Tue, the new, uh, newly installed uh, Minister of Health mm -hmm. for uh, the government of Myanmar. Very great to be with you here, uh, Mr. Minister. Um, you know, I think it, it was great what you said yesterday about the history of the engagement of the government of Myanmar with its neighbors and with the United Nations, with UNODC, in, uh, through this Mekong MOU framework. And, uh, you know, we've been working together now for 20 years on that, a little longer in the country itself. Um, maybe it, it would be great to hear others, hear how you sense the cooperation has gone, given you've been on the job as a minister just appointed by Aung San Suu Kyi, yeah. what, a week, week and a half ago? Mm -hmm. uh, so this is your first big international engagement. What's your sense of that cooperation? Uh, regarding this cooperation, I will be talking from a new perspective as a new minister, you know, mm -hmm. something like an, from, as an epidemiologist, I'll be viewing mm -hmm. from epidemiological perspective. Okay. What I'm thinking is that in the drug control, narcotic drug control program, we must be holistic. Mm -hmm. We have to do holistic point of view. Right. And we need to think of epidemiological perspective of epidemiologic thinking, right. which means we have to see from different angles, different approaches, right. compared to different things like that not seen from one perspective. Okay. In that context, the most important thing which I think is that we need to incorporate operational research aspect mm. on each and every anti-drug control activities. Right. Law, et cetera, you know, rehabilitation center, treatment sure. center, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Because we may be doing as per the framework, but we are we, how far are we sure that what we are doing is really effective at the ground level or not. Like is it having impact? Yes, impact. Right, so right. we need to do some sort of an operational research or implementation research right. to see what we are doing or what we are going is in the right direction according to the framework or MOU right. that we agreed upon together. This is sure. really important. Sure. On top of that, all the approaches or strategies that we are putting in mm. must be balanced. Yeah. One approach That's right. should, is very good. Another approach is not very good. It should not. It must all be balanced. This is very important. Yeah. Another issue is that all the responses given by either nearby country, Myanmar, mm -hmm. Thailand, China, mm -hmm. must be coordinated, well coordinated, well synchronized response. Right. Like for instance, immunization. If we are doing immunization of particular disease in Myanmar side, mm -hmm. Thai side also should be doing. That yeah. same immunization yeah. simultaneously. Mm. That is really important. Right. On top of that, in order to do this, we need to share information on real time basis. Yeah. Like a phone call, like yeah. just email, you know, like that. So in that context, we need to identify focal point or contact person mm -hmm. between the two agencies or the two countries, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. These two people must just pick up the phone and talk straight away and things get done very quickly. Another issue is we are doing like that, but we need to have a continuous review and continuous monitoring. Mm. In other words, a built-in simple monitoring process must be there in each and every anti-control, whatever strategies right. that we are implementing. That is really important. Sometimes we, we, we intend to forget all these. Sure. Okay, from the demand side also, you know, mm. who are the people that the drugs are being used? My perspective is that for long-term dividends, school children, yep. school health program, these issues, the dire consequences of use of drug must be in the curriculum of the school, of the children. So mm -hmm. when they go up, mm -hmm. grew up, you know, they know the dangers of drugs. Right. That is really important. We should not only focus on the community, but school children is very important from the long-term perspective. So when they graduate, whatever, they are well aware of the dangers of all these drugs. Mm. And as you know, the bilateral uh, collaboration between countries are going on well, but how well or how far are we sure? Is yeah. it really well or just on show? That is really important. You know? yeah. We need to identify the constraints between the two. Sometimes, you know, out of courtesy, you know, we are not saying frankly. So in other words, two countries or whatever two groups or two entities yeah. must be very sincere. That is very important. On top of that, all those people involved in this any drug control activities mm. must have a sense of ownership. 
you know, sense of ownership can be created like, you know, these are actually doing for our countrymen. We have to do it. Otherwise, the whole country will be down the drain. This is a very serious matter when, for us. When you talk about uh, uh, the results and getting people to mm. get candid, like the, neighbor, yes. the neighboring countries, how do you propose that you might want to do that? Okay. The results, you know, it must be scientific or science-based result. That is really important. We should not say by hearsay, you know, we got this. No. Whether that information is really correct or relevant or valid or reliable must be confirmed. That is really important. In other words, a science-based approach or evidence-based approach must be the one that we have to do. Go what ahead. Are the, what are the barriers holding back the states from being candid with each other? Because one of the, it, it is true that the, when, you, when you've got two countries working on an issue, yes. it's very tough. Drug yes. control is a tough topic. Yes. Uh, and when you've got six countries, it's even more difficult. Yes, right? yes. So how do you get them to be candid with each okay. other? Okay, that is, you know, everybody is not perfect. We must be frank. Yeah. We must not be afraid of, you know, uh, diverging or mentioning right. about the weaknesses. Right. You know, this is the area that I'm rather weak. Could you please help me? Sometimes people do doesn't want to say, you know, yeah. I'm good, I'm best. No. Everybody in the world is not perfect. I myself, I have many weak areas. There are areas which I do not know. We don't have to get into yes. those. Yeah. Yes. But, okay. But <laughs> you're, uh, you're, mm. uh, you're, you're going back to the evidence base. You're mm. thinking that it's use of evidence and data yes. that would be helpful to yes. do that, to yes. be frank. Yes. Yeah. That is why the operational research or implementation right. research is really important. Right. Implementation research means we can see the administrative, management, logistic, technical perspective of a particular program is right or wrong can be known only by conducting implementation research, yep. which will not take too much time. You know, within three months, we can get the information or findings, results. Yeah. That is very important. Yeah. You're clearly very passionate about that, <laughs> about the <laughs> yeah. implementation research. Yes. Obviously, because you've come from that background as, yeah, a, background, as, a, yeah, as yeah. a medical doctor. Yeah. When, you, when you used to be an, a medical advisor mm -hmm. to other countries, actually, you mm -hmm. um, used to advise on as an epidemiologist on different mm. trends mm. and diseases. Okay, if you reflect on drug use as a disease, mm. um, and you reflect on how uh, yesterday you talked about rural use, village use versus city use, mm. how might you want to study your country so you better understand as an epidemiologist the okay. differences in the places? Okay, in that case, what I'm going to do is we will develop a framework mm -hmm. or activity tree on all those activities carried out to reduce yep. drug use, whatever, you know, demand reduction, whatever. Mm. Then we will know the areas that need further strengthening. Okay. You know, that is, in other words, the activity tree yep. or framework yep. must be developed first. Yep. So that by looking at that, we will have a holistic view. Mm. Areas that need further attention, areas that is superfluous, areas that are redundant or duplicated right. can easily be found if we have the framework. So in other words, that framework also must be linked with the MOU, right. you know, between the two countries, you know. That right. is important issue. Right. And, and, and you would want to use that, that information that you generate for the, like you touched on earlier, on education campaigns yes, yes. for youth yes. and so forth. You know, I actually ha I had a meeting, uh, actually my colleague Tun Neso and I had a meeting with uh, Dasu on mm. Sang Suu Kyi about a little more than a year ago, where we talked to her about the country, and she's deeply passionate about mm. drug use and youth. And she and I imagine she's talked to you about that as well, mm. and uh, and truly really this holistic approach. Maybe you mm. could elaborate on the vision that you guys have yourself mm. and the president's office okay. for the country when it comes to addressing this profound drug problem. Okay. In, in that context, you know, after we develop the framework and activity mm -hmm. tree, we have to start planning. Right. But in planning, we must be realistic. Right. Generally, we people or everybody, they are very greedy. They put everything in the plan. So the plan must be real, not only realistic, yeah. the activity must be prioritized. Okay. In prioritizing activities, not only activity, geographic mm. prioritization, as well as, as well as specific group or segments of the population, sure. prioritization must be there. Only then we will be using our money, you know, value for money, mm. appropriate use of money will be there. Otherwise, uh, money, some money will be wasted. Right, right. In, yes. But you, but, uh, to, to the point about uh, the holistic approach, right? Mm -hmm. And the, u the, the drawing in of the whole of government, your education mm -hmm. ministry, yes, your yes, health yes, ministry. Yes. So what, what parts of government do you want to draw in soon? No, you know, actually, this activity is mainly the responsibility of the 
Ministry of Home Affairs or Interior. Yeah. Yeah. But the role to be played by Ministry of Health, although small, but they serve as a catalyst, right. you know, very strong catalyst in make things work, in make things going in the right direction. Sure. You know, sure. this is really important. So from Ministry of Health, we see this as the public health approach. Right. And we have to use epidemiologic thinking, system approach, system analysis. Mm -hmm. We cannot just see a particular issue, no. This issue must be analyzed compared to issues around it yeah. in the context of the particular scenario that right. is happening, et cetera, right. et cetera. And compared to different planes, trend. Yeah. Trend is also very important, you know. The trend of the particular scenario is very sure. important, yes. Do you think that the public health system in Myanmar is, uh, is going to be, you're going to engage it yes. to deliver treatment, yes. drug treatment out in the communities? Yes. That's your vision, yes, I guess? Yes. Um, is it, uh, what type of help is it going to need? What type of resources are you going to need to apply to that? Okay. Regarding this public health, I don't want our people or many people to become an armchair epidemiologist. Mm. You know, armchair epidemiologist means sitting in the arm, I will say, oh, this <laughs> is right, this is wrong. Right. You know, right. armchair epidemiologists can have a very top-notch plan, right. but it may not be implementable at the ground level. Okay. So what we need to do is, what is the ground reality? Mm. What is really happening at the ground level? This must be known. In order to know this, mm -hmm. we need to do quickly qualitative research, like focus group okay. discussion, you know, okay. you know, focus to yep. key informant interview, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. It would not take much time, no. not very expensive. Mm. We will get the real cause, root cause of these problems. That is okay. very important, you know. But you're imagining using the national health system and the national education system mm -hmm. for to address the prevention side and the treatment side. Because mm -hmm. right now, I think you just deliver your drug treatment through treatment centers. Treatment center, yes. Right. Yes. But are you going to? But not every district has a treatment center. Yes, agree, agree. So, so how are you going to reach those districts where you don't have a treatment center at the moment? Yes. Uh, what is important is even in the treatment center themselves. Mm -hmm. This is just not only for treatment. Mm -hmm. We have to brainwash them by okay. giving appropriate knowledge, okay. health education, how to make decisions, whether what they are doing is right or wrong, must be there in the treatment center or rehabilitative center or in prevention. Okay. Prevention, you know, for me, I thought that the most effective preventive method is through FM radios. You know, FM, FM radio. radios. Really? Because TV is not available, especially in rural areas, border areas. Right. So FM radio should be interspersed with very modern music, you know, <laughs> and then education, yep. you know, some sort of a story like that. Sure. With uh, different languages, you know, this is very sure. important, you know. Sure. In fact, you know, the health education and attitude of the people is most important, but to change the attitude also difficult. Right. All, even if it is difficult, we should try our level best, you know, as yeah. much as possible, first by educating them first. Mm -hmm. Then attitude mm -hmm. can be changed. Mm -hmm. If they are not well educated, it is very difficult to change the attitude. Yeah. If, can, if I can switch topics, yeah, right? Please. Mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the big issues in the country, and I know it's, you're a little less familiar with it, but I think you still know a lot, is, is opium production, mm -hmm. which is concentrated in, in, Golden in, in the Golden Triangle, largely in Shan State, mm -hmm. um, mostly produced, obviously, by very poor farmers. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's your thinking about how to engage those communities to convince them to move away from producing opium? Yeah, this is very much related to overall socioeconomic situation of the yeah. country. Yeah. For that matter, the Ministry of Health has very little role to play. Sure. You know, this is the economic perspective, you know, mm. the livelihood of these people. But so maybe what we're saying, though, is that you've, you've talked about the Health Ministry and the Education Ministry and the Home Affairs Ministry, mm. but you have to bring in the, the economic planning ministries. Right, uh, I agree with you, yes. Yeah, so basically it's, it really broadens it out and becomes a whole holistic approach, like yes. you said earlier. Um, are you imagining, I think under the Home Affairs, there's a steering committee that mm. the, for the, the CCDAC mm. for the drug committee. Yes. Um, are you imagining yourself getting involved in that and bringing in these other parts of the government? Yes, but before that, you know, these people, they are doing agricultural works. Right. So the role of Department of Agriculture is very important. Right. You know, teach them how to grow, how to plant. On right. top of that, fertilizers must be distributed almost normal price or even free of charge yeah. to these people. So mm -hmm. the production or yield or whatever crops they are growing will be very, very high. So they then they, so they will switch to other, other, you know, 
mm. plants or whatever, you know. Mm. That is very important, rule of agriculture. Yeah. And integrating them into the larger economy. You just yes, touched on right, the fact yes. that there's a, this bigger economic story yes. and you need to get yes. them involved in, yes. to get them off the you poverty. Know, yeah, for these people, poverty. you know, government used to give loan to farmers. Oh, okay. For them, a special type of loan, even without interest, mm -hmm. zero interest, mm. should be given. Okay. Not only, you know, instead of giving one leg, they should be given two legs. So, so right. they must have sufficient amount of money to do the, uh, the, the planting or harvesting or whatever. To kind of make the transition yes, away. Yes, correct, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if I can come back to the Mekong MOU. Mm. So you were here with your, for the first time. First time, yes. For the first time representing your government as a minister. Yeah. And you had the pleasure of representing with China, Thailand, yes, Laos, correct, yes. Vietnam, mm. Cambodia, mm. the ministers. What's, wh how, did, how did that feel? What was that like? You know, for me, you know, if I have to take, talk frankly, you know, I haven't mm. not yet properly seen the MOU. First, right. I would like to see the MOU first, you know. Yeah. I've been in a minister in office for only six days and I uh, <laughs> came to the United States, you know. Yeah. First, I would like to have a thorough review of the MOU, whether right. this MOU is realistic. Yep. So what are the areas that need to further mm. fine-tune the MOUs so that everybody mm. will be involved? There should be a yeah. sense of ownership. That mm. must be there. Mm. I'm but not sure whether this MOU has been revised since its in inception in 1993. It has been. It has been. It okay. has been. But, but you have a sense that everyone's committed to it, I think, yes. from all those states. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. That is yes, very common. Myanmar also highly, deeply committed about this because we are suffering. Yeah. You know, very recently we have seized a big haul of uh, methamphetamine yes. tablets in various administrative regions in my country. This is really, really situ serious, you know. Mm. Health problem is nothing. If yeah. we are addicted to all these uh, narcotic drugs, the country will be down the drain. Yeah. This is yeah, very you serious. You said yesterday it's in every district, I think, now. Is that true? Uh, it's, it's many being administrative. Found in, in, yes, in many in districts. The, yes, the, the in the Yangon also. Right. I saw in a newspaper, you know. In the car full of all these amphetamine tablets, yeah, you know, yeah. pills. That's a shame. Yes. But but at least it sounds like you have a plan, which is the great yes, thing. It, yeah, yeah. Yes. You have this holistic vision and this yes. holistic view of, yes. of how to tackle the problem. Right. So I thank you for yes. explaining Yes, I will it support the colleagues. Ministry of Interior, yes. the police force, whatever, from our perspective, yeah. you know, yeah. so that their way of thinking may be a little bit changed, I hope. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Minister. Yes, thank you. I appreciate thank you very much, uh, yeah. the yeah. chat. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Bye.